From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News at 6. With all our gear on, it's basically a, like a snowsuit. Now at 6, fighting two different waves of heat and heavy gear. How local firefighters are changing strategy with house fires in these hot temperatures. And celebrating freedom and recognizing history for Juneteenth. How local community members are coming together and pushing for the expansion of education for this federal holiday. Thanks so much for joining us on 2 News at 6. We're going to start with weather tonight as that heat is still bearing down on us here in the Miami Valley, getting a live look behind us there at the Land of Illusion in Middletown. You can be certain a lot of people are out there at pools and splash pads trying to beat the heat. Yeah, you really need a way to cool off in this. We're joined by Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis now. Brian, we've been expecting the heat and also some storms. Well, it's officially a heat wave now. Yeah. It's our third day of 90 plus and we have more on the way. Uh, as a matter of fact, could even get hotter by the end of the week. Also with the heat and humidity, a couple of showers and thunderstorms pop up this afternoon. Right now, a pretty decent one again uh, up in Auglaize County, just southwest of Wapkaneta, moving northeast. And some other showers trying to form around Rushi, Newport, and western Shelby County. Lighter showers up near Anna. A pretty decent cell in Wayne County, Indiana, but that appears to be weakening and a couple more uh, developing down in Butler County, moving slowly north and northeast. We'll see if they hold together uh, long enough to make it up toward Preble and western Montgomery counties. We do have that heat advisory extended now all the way until Saturday evening over our area and the severe weather threat this evening. Well, with those uh, showers popping up, there's a very low risk of a damaging wind gust out of those thunderstorms, but for the most part, uh, no significant threat. I'll have your complete Storm Team 2 forecast minutes from now. Get weather updates sent straight to your phone with the Storm Team 2 app. Scan the QR code on your screen with a smartphone. That will take you to our website with links to download the Storm Team 2 app. Well, the Dayton Fire Department is investigating what caused a house fire this morning on Vernon Drive. And not only were crews fighting that fire, they were also finding the heat. And 2 News reporter Allison Gens is digging deeper into what happened and how those firefighters stayed cool. Next hour or so. And it's wild to say back off into the 80s. That's <laughs> yeah, back how off into relative the 80s. it is. That should be where the high is. Exactly. Yes. Well, that does it for 2 News at 6. Thanks for being with us. Nightly News is next. We're back at 10 on Dayton CW and then right back here at 11. Have a fantastic evening.